welcome back to my channel everyone i'm so glad to have you back again so like i promised we just started the suit series and in this series i'm going to be showing you step by step how to cut and sew a jacket and a suit pant so it's going to be a complete suit series so we are starting by cutting it now i will show you everything how to put the shoulder pad every single thing how to cut a suit sleeve because a suit sleeve is different everything please stay tuned subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can follow so let's get to business so the first thing we need to take is the full measurement of the jacket and um, this is the back part so the full measurement i'm using is 24 and um, after that we'll just take the normal um, basic point which is the boss point the under boss point the waist point and the hip point you know how to take them if you don't know it's just um, from the shoulder to the boss from the shoulder to the under bust from the shoulder to the waist and from the shoulder to the hip line so that's what i'm taking right now and the reason we have the hip line on it is because your jacket is going to stand on your hip so we're just marking out all the lines now we have the waistline right now we're just marking out the waistline and after that we'll mark out the hip line and after that we'll start our real business so these points are very easy just when you're taking your measurement just measure from your shoulder down to all these points and that's all so let's label them now um, boss point under boss point waist point and hip point so the next thing which is also the major thing to take is the chest line i usually use nine inches for my chest line so i'll just mark out um, nine inch downward from the shoulder and that i'll liberate my chest line that's the chest line so after that we need to actually take the center point for the back usually when you wear your suit you see or when you have buy your suit you notice that there's a um, sewing at the back a center joining at the at the back there's no zip or anything it's just a joining to give it sh nice shape and to make it sit well on your body so that's what we are taking in now one inch we'll just fold it in and then we'll start taking our normal measurements so the next thing we need to take now is our shoulder measurement usually uh, my shoulder measurement is seven and a half i mean it's actually um 14 and sorry it's 15 divided by 2 which is seven and a half but i added half inch because it's a suit because your shoulder would actually fall um towards your arm a little so you add half inch to your measurement and then to get the um arm hole you just divide what you have and then make a curve just like we usually do for a basic armhole but that's only for the back when we are cutting the front the armhole for the front is usually different from the back so let's cut out the neck now the neck is three three inches you can use three and a half if you are very big it's three inch sideways by one inch downward so it's three inch sideways one inch downward the width is three inch the length is one inch so but if the person is really big you can use three and a half by one so let's uh, also don't forget to slant out your shoulder your shoulder is just half inch then just slant it so just like we usually do for basic so the back is almost basic is the front that has much of the work so um now what we need to do now is to take our round measurements just um, your round bust mine is 40 this person is 40 divide by four which is 10 you add your seam allowance if you want to add two inch you can add if you want to add one you can add but please don't add less than one for suit i don't advise you add less than one just in case um you feel it doesn't sit well you'll be able to adjust if you i'm sorry less than one don't add less than one that's what i mean don't add less than one you can add two inches you can add one and a half so just um, divide your round measurement by four and then mark out the point so that's what we are doing right now just mark out the point and after we are done with this, just extend it to the armhole length, just like we usually do. Extend it. And as soon as we are done, we shall be taking um, the back for the back measurement on the waistline. We would actually take half inch, half inch, half inch on the waistline towards that line that we folded in just half inch this is actually to give it a nice shape let me open it up so that you see what i'm talking about so it's just to give it a nice shape usually you don't need to cut this out when you are sewing just keep it at the back of your mind when you, you are when you are sewing you sew um half inch inside towards the waistline it's just to give it a nice shape so this is the shape you are going to sew when you are sewing so you sew like this half inch more than others so actually i found out that when i was trying to show you how to draft out the dart 
the camera wasn't recording so i had already drafted out the dart before i noticed that the camera wasn't recording so don't worry i will show it to you when i'm doing the front i'm going to draft the same dart at on the front pattern and i will show you exactly how i got it so don't mind the fact that um the dart is already here it just appeared here that's because i didn't even know it was recording and i had already drafted the dart so let's cut it off now let's cut off the excess and then let's go to the front because the back is actually very very easy the front is easy as well but more a little more complicated <laughs> don't be scared so I just um, drew out all the point, the bust, the under bust, the waist and the hip and also the um, sh chest line. But if you notice, I didn't start my measurement from the tip of the paper. I left some part up and you can see I did not do anything to my armhole. I just left it plain. That's because the armhole is different for the front. So and I'll be showing you how to get it. And I also left one and a half inch just like the other one. Um, I left one and a half inch before I started measuring. So just look at the way I did it on my paper. So let's take our basic measurement our basic measurement the neck is actually three inches by three inches so the front neck is three inches sideways three inches downward that's three inch for the width three inch for the length so three inch by three inch like i said if a person is really big you can make it three and a half inch but for me three inch is fine so that's what i'm doing now and i'm just making the curve I'm making the curve so the next thing i need to do now please i'm taking all my measurements from the lines the lines i measured out so from that line is where i'm taking my measurement so the next thing i need to do now is to actually take out um my nipple to nipple measurement we are trying to get the dart that dart that i did not show you at the back i will show you now so my nipple to nipple measurement is nine divided by two it will give me four and a half so that four and a half is what i marked on my bust point and i also marked that same four and a half on my hip point so i'm just um, extending the line the four and a half line so i just extended it now so i'll take from my bust point downward i'll take one inch from the bust point downward i'll take one inch and then i'll go to the hip and then i'll take out one and a half inch upward from the hip do you get it bust point downward one one and a half upward from the hip so on the waistline i'll take half inch at each side so half inch at each side for on the waistline so that's what i'm going to do now to get it that so then i'll just join the points that's all that's very easy <laughs> so it's actually very easy to draft this out that so i'm just um joining all the points now to get our perfect that so um hmm, look at the that that's the same thing i did at the back <laughs> just i did not record so let's um take the armhole for the front like i said it's actually different from the basic armhole you usually take so i measured it down that nine inch downward divide by two four and a half so i just measured four and a half which is the middle point and then sideways towards the next side i took 0 0.75 inches 0 0.55 inches that's one um half and quarter inch so i just took it and i marked it so what i will do now is to join the point so i'm going to join from that tip to that line so that 0 0.75 line to the tip so that's what i'm going to do and then i'm also going to use my curve to join and make the armhole see that the front armhole is actually different from the back armhole that's what i was trying to explain so the back armhole is different from the front armhole the back armhole is basic while the front armhole is the suit armhole please don't use basic armhole for boots if you want to get that suit that standing suit that's one that has a um, nice fit when you wear it someone will know that you are wearing a suit <laughs> so okay let's get to business um now we need i just on the waistline i took one inch upward on the waistline one inch upward that's we're just trying to get our lapel that's our collar so from that one inch upward i'm going to extend it to the neckline so it all this all depends on you if you want your um lapel to start from the underboss you can start from the underboss if you want to start from the waistline itself you can start from the waistline so it's it depends on you it depends on how you want your lapel to be so i'm just extending it to the other part remember that we left we took one and a half we left some parts so i'm just extending i'm just redrawing the line because um the extra inch there needs to be filled up so i'm just redrawing the line there so you can see I'm just trying to get the lapel. This part I'm marking out is the wrong line now. 
I'm just cancelling out that part. So all I just did now extend the neckline down to the waist line. So that's all. So we are just trying to get a curve at the lower part. So what we are doing now is to just get a curve at the lower part. You know, um, usually for women, our suit is kind of curved at the at the lower part. So if you just do to get this, usually I just measure three inch from the lower part upward. I just measured three inch from the lower part upward. That's what I do. So I measured from um the that lapel part downward, and then I just joined to that three inch. So that's what I see. That's what you can see there. So I'm just also at the side. Um, you can use anything. This is actually your choice. If you don't even want to add the curve, you may not add the curve. But at the side, I just uh, measured two and a half inch and I'm just curving towards each other. So that's what I'm doing. So three inch upward from the hip line, two inch sideways on the hip line and then I made the curve. So now to get um, the collar itself, we measure around the back neck. So I'm just measuring around the back neck and I got three inches. So that three inches is what I'm I'm going to take and extend upward i hope you are getting it so i'm just taking the back neckline i'm just transferring the back neckline length everything i got when i measured round and i just extended it upward on this so it's what i got on the back which is three inches when i measured round that i just extended up and since we needed to sit well we just measure half inch sideways to towards the back side we just measure half inch sideways this this is just to make it sit well it's still the same three inches so i just want it to be a little more slant so that's it just a little more slant that's it so i'm just going to uh, extend it forward a little because we are still going to be extending it so the same three inches that we got don't forget the same three inches that we got plus that half that we took which is four we just extend we just mark and extend so it's the back neck that we're actually transferring here. So we used it, we use what we got for the back neck plus half inch um, upward and sideways. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to use my ruler to um, join the point. I'm just joining the point. Then I'll use my curve to make the shape that I want. So any shape I want, I'll use my curve. So you can use, even use your free hand to do this. Just make, um, just determine what you want your lapel to look like. So this is your choice to make. So I'm just using my curve to freestyle and make a nice shape for myself. So this is the shape I made. So let me cut out the excess so that you see what the shape looks like. So I'm just cutting out the excess so that you see exactly what the shape looks like. It's actually turning out very beautiful. Actually, <laughs> you already saw the um, jacket, so I know you know it's beautiful. So I almost forgot to slant my shoulder. Please always slant your shoulder. Even if you don't slant your shoulder, when you're cutting a suit, please slant your shoulder. So just take half inch downwards and make a slant for your shoulder. This is something I do always whenever I'm cutting. But some people don't do it. But please, if you're making a suit, please slant your shoulder. So let me just um, continue with my cutting. So I'm just cutting out the excess, everything I don't need. I'm just cutting them out so you can see. This is exactly the um, exact measurement or the correct measurement. So I'm just cutting out the excess so that I don't know what's left to do. So remember, we have not um, done our body, our round measurement. We have not draft, um, drafted it on it. So just usual, um, bust divide by four, under bust divide by four, waist divide by four, hip divide by four just as usual just like we did for the back and then we just mark it on the points and don't forget take your measurement from the uh, middle line that we measured not the that line no. <laughs> the um, beginning line that we measured so that's what i'm doing i'm just taking my uh, basic measurement my round measurements divide by four then i'll add my um, seam allowance if you notice i didn't add that allowance to the back and i did also did not add that allowance to the front that's because when i'm cutting it on the fabric i'll add the allowance to the fabric itself don't worry you will see all this i'm going to, like i said the step-by-step -step sewing is also there so don't worry about it so now this is what it looks like oh we have the shape already drafted out you can see the dart is there as well but we also need to cut out the dart we also need to cut out the dart and make it a princess dart so i'm just going to um, use my curve ruler to just um, extend it to the armhole so i'm just extending it to that um, center point at the armhole and then i'll just cut out the excess just this is just to make it 
stand on your body and give it that fitted nice shape so i'm just giving that fitted nice shape that it needs so we're just going to cut out the excess and this is what it looks like you can see it's actually looking beautiful already we are going to do the same thing for the back we are going to actually um extend make it a princess that as well and then we'll go ahead and cut out the excess so you can see it's very easy and we are almost done so i also went ahead to transfer the pattern to the fabric and you can see i made the fabric longer than the pattern because um the fabric is actually going to be longer than the lining so i'm going to use the pattern itself for to cut the exact measurement for the lining where why the other one will be longer a little don't worry i'll show you when i'm sewing and so just turn on notification make sure you turn on notification if you're already subscribed and if you have not subscribed please subscribe turn on notification so that as soon as i upload you will see that so the next video i'll be uploading is how to cut a two-piece sleeve for the suit and also the sewing so please 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 turn on notification is very important if not you may not even know when i upload and also so please subscribe if you are not already subscribed i'm going to be showing you everything how to attach the shoulder pad the collar every single step i'm going to be showing you so do not worry every single step is going to be there it's just that i don't want this video to be one hour if not i would have added the sewing part as well take care and thank you for watching